Thanks very much. I'll just adjust this a little bit. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> Thanks very much, and good morning to you. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to you. Thanks to Bob for inviting me. I think this is the third year or third time that I'm uh, part of your um, conference, and I uh, certainly appreciate the opportunity to tell you what our organization is doing. Our slides are on the deck, and um, uh, I represent the Greater Toronto Marketing Alliance, and our focus has been for the last 17 years, currently is, and is expected to uh, be for the coming years on foreign direct investment. So we work with companies from uh, Europe, United States, Latin America, and Asia to present the greater Toronto area and its opportunities to them. Um, on the next slide, and which one? Uh, which, which of these buttons do I push? Hmm? The green one. The big green one. No. Okay. Oh, okay, fine, good. I, I'm technically capable, I think. Uh, thanks, so but <laughs> appreciate it. Um, so just a, big, a bit um, of an overview on uh, foreign direct investment. We work with a lot of partners, a lot of partners uh, within the GTA, but also internationally. Uh, we work with uh, the federal government, Canadian government, through its um, network of posts around the world, the embassies, the consulates, the consulates general, high commissions, and so forth. And their job is to promote Canada for uh, investment purposes. They contact uh, companies, small, medium, and large companies internationally, and develop relationships with them and present to them the reasons why they should consider Canada. We then work also with the Ontario government. Um, Ontario has 11 international marketing centers around the world. In my earlier life, I opened up the uh, um, Munich uh, office in uh, 2002, was there for four and a half years promoting uh, investment into Ontario from Germany. We work with uh, those offices and their colleagues at Queen's Park. They refer projects to us. We collaborate with them on those projects uh, as they identify companies that are thinking at, of uh, considering Ontario as a place in which to invest. And then our role comes into play when uh, uh, a company uh, says, well, we'd like to do something in the Toronto region or in Toronto or somewhere in the greater Toronto area. Then um, we are brought into the picture by them. We also have our own proactive program where we go out uh, internationally. Uh, we are f have been focusing for the last few years on three main sectors, uh, information communication technology, digital media, digital gaming, uh, software development, um, uh, agriculture uh, uh, sector, food processing and beverages, and uh, advanced manufacturing, and only five markets so far, uh, California, Brazil, Italy, Germany, France. That's going to be changing for next year, and I'll come to that later. So that um, is the sort of overview. Um, there we go. Um, so we are the uh, agency that represents the greater Toronto area. Uh, these are the five regions, the city of Toronto, Durham region, York region, uh, Peel region, and Halton region. Population base of 6.1 million people, 20% of Canada's GDP, 45% of Ontario's GDP, the industrial financial heartland of, um, of Canada. And we um, work with companies to uh, present the reasons why they should consider the GTA for investment. We network them with our private sector partners, with our regional partners, with the Economic Development Department of uh, Durham, for example, and the other regional and municipal economic development departments. And we introduce them to colleges and universities and basically present to them the reasons why they should consider the uh, GTA as a place in which to invest. Next slide shows us uh, shows you uh, our uh, network of partners on the left hand side. Our private sector partners; these are law firms, accounting firms, real estate firms, human resource firms, banks, marketing organizations, uh, chambers of commerce, and so forth that we work with. Uh, I have been working closely with Alan for a number of years, talking about how we could collaborate more closely together. Also, take the opportunity to commend Alan on his uh, very successful Ontario Economic Summit just about two three weeks ago. And uh, with our future rollout of our uh, efforts uh, next year, I see ourselves working much more collaboratively with uh, Alan and his chambers, especially the chambers in the, um, in the GTA. Uh, on the right-hand side, our public sector uh, partners, all of the 29 municipalities and regional governments that um, we work with closely and they support us uh, financially to a large part. Over the years, um, the organization has worked with um, hundreds of companies from around the world. And on the next slide, Oh, yes, I, th I, s I threw this one in for fun. Uh, these are the uh, projects that uh, the organization has uh, confirmed. In other words, these were investments that were made 
uh, in the GTA since its inception. And as you can see, the early years uh, up and down, uh, reflecting a number of the challenges in the earlier years, uh, 2003, uh, SARS, of course, affected companies visiting here and their decisions to locate. 2009 was after the um, financial uh, recession. But uh, since 2010, uh, the curve has been going in the right direction. And uh, we anticipate, we expect, and we plan to uh, keep that curve going up. These investments have come from around the world. Uh, to the end of 2013, we've confirmed 113 companies that have located in the GTA. Most of them are still active uh, here, and they have collectively, or they now collectively employ uh, about 5,000 uh, people. They contribute about $9 million in property taxes, and the employees uh, contribute about $535 million to the uh, economy of the uh, greater Toronto area. This year, oh, okay. Um, the, um, the other thing that's, uh, that's interesting to note, uh, let me just go back for a sec. Oh, yeah, no question. Um, then uh, this slide uh, here, the next one, once it switches, yeah, okay, um, is an example of what happens when an investor comes into the, um, the GTA. Many of the companies that we work with will start small, one or two people, and they'll grow to maybe five or eight or ten people. And, and that's fine. Uh, we like to see that. Uh, it creates employment of a small nature. And uh, that all adds up as one multiplies those numbers by the um, number of firms that have located here. We also have examples of firms that have um, uh, located uh, um, anywhere in the, in the GTA, and they've grown their businesses to 200, 300 people. But what's also interesting in some analysis that we did uh, uh, recently uh, that um, these companies, even though they will have perhaps a head office location, these are two examples, one uh, with a head office in uh, the Toronto, North Toronto, uh, the old North York area, the other one in Mississauga, that they have a regional impact. They will employ people from throughout the, uh, the GTA and, in fact, even, in, even beyond. Uh, so um, a company, especially if they have a, they're a large employer, will draw their employees from throughout the region uh, wherever the, uh, the people happen to be living, and as a result, uh, those employees have a positive impact on the communities in which they, um, they live. Now, uh, before I get into the slide, just wanted to make you aware of um, some recent um, uh, developments. About just over three weeks ago, uh, we were advised by uh, Minister Duguid, Minister of Economic Development, Employment and Infrastructure, that uh, the province of Ontario was going to be um, funding the GTMA to quite a substantial uh, level uh, over the next few years. We're working out the details of the, uh, the funding. We have also put in an application to the federal government for uh, funding. So uh, we see uh, the organization over the next uh, 12 months uh, growing substantially and as a result uh, increasing its activities in a variety of sectors and a variety of markets. This slide here is the start of a lot of the analysis that we've been doing. Um, and it touches on which are the sectors that each of our regional partners are uh, focusing on. Uh, we're still testing this, uh, this slide to see if we've got it right, but we want to get a sense of what are the areas of priority for each of the uh, regions. So Kathy and her Economic Development Department will tell me, do we have it right for Durham Region? Is there something missing? Should we add something? And uh, we're doing the same thing with all of our other regional partners. Uh, this will allow us to then uh, focus on the um, sectors that we're going to be working on in the coming years. Uh, next slide uh, is a, a sense of what we hope to do. And this is, um, it's called ICCI Initiatives. Uh, this is a federal government program from the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs, Trade and Development, DFAT-D. Uh, they've been um, providing funding for our uh, initiatives uh, overseas. Uh, it's 50 cent dollars, so we have to match their money with the money that we source uh, from the private sector, from our other funding uh, partners. And um, they, uh, we put in an application for that. It's about a $300,000 application. We're waiting for uh, approval for that. And that'll allow us to start moving into some uh, new sectors and, um, and new markets. Uh, in the whole philosophy of diversifying the uh, uh, economy of the GTA, now the GTA is very diversified as we already know, but uh, there are areas where 
There are sectors that uh, perhaps need some new technology or new innovation, some of which, would, some of which uh, can be developed or generated by the companies themselves here locally. But uh, uh, if there are certain gaps in technology, energy perhaps uh, a big discussion point here, and we'll be reaching out to the energy sector in this region and, and elsewhere to ask, are there technologies which they do not have, which you do not have, that are perhaps available from companies overseas and would they uh, see it making sense to try and invite, attract those companies here to supply that technology. Smart grid technology is one theme, but I've heard that uh, we're actually quite advanced in that technology. But there might be gaps. There might be other organizations in uh, Europe perhaps that um, have developed some, uh, some technologies that could be applied to the energy sector here. Who are they? We'll talk to them and we'll uh, try and convince them that they should be uh, located here to build up the uh, cluster infrastructure in, in this particular uh, sector. So those are the, um, the sectors that, uh, that we're looking at uh, uh, going forward. And um, similarly, we, um, oops, oh, there we go. And that's a, another slide uh, that uh, talks to our application to the federal government, Fed, uh, FedDev Ontario. Again, a variety of sectors, a variety of target markets that we're going to be um, um, approaching in a variety of ways. Um, yesterday I was talking to um, uh, one of our board members, a partner, uh, about the organization charts for next year, the job descriptions for the, uh, the people. This morning I had an, econo uh, an executive committee meeting where we were talking about how we want to grow the organization over the um, coming months. So there's a lot of work ahead of us. But the key thing I want to leave behind, the message, is that, and, and this has been the philosophy of the, org of the organization uh, since its uh, inception and especially over the last few years that I've been there, uh, our key word is collaboration. Uh, we collaborate with our uh, private sector partners, of course. We collaborate very closely with all of our regional partners. We uh, collaborate with the Ontario Chamber and we'll be doing more so, um, as well as with the Ontario government, the federal government. So the model that we um, apply is working with a lot of people all working together with the common interest of uh, strengthening, diversifying, expanding the uh, economy of the uh, greater Toronto area. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, if you have any questions after, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.